Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do your weekly reading. This is Anything Goes. Uh, this is week uh, March 22nd through the 28th. Remember, timing is flexible. Everything you need to know is in the description box. This is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But you can check out your other signs and your placements uh, for guidance and messages. And just take the ones that resonate with you. So besides that, you can check out my information in the description box. Um, uh, I'm not doing personal readings at this time. I will let everyone know when I do. Also, uh, I do do a monthly giveaway. Details are below to enter. And then lastly, I have a new channel that I created for my subscribers. It's a healing meditation channel. Uh, I'm doing a lot of different things on there. So check that out. Um, there's two links below, one for a heart chakra clearing. So it can remove any uh, blockages with manifesting love or just healing past hurts. Um, I'm a Reiki therapist as well. So um, I incorporate Reiki energy in uh, the meditations. There's a chakra, uh, root chakra, which is for security and stability. Uh, manifesting also love um, and abundance in your life so check that out and let's get started with your reading I hope everyone's doing well thank you for joining thank you for all of your support I do appreciate all of you okay let's see <laughs> look at that the full card all right so some of you may be starting something new all right starting a new beginning a new journey here this is really nice too because it's like you're starting over with something it's new it's refreshing it's taking that leap of faith um, it's also um, doing what's good for your soul okay doing what's good for your soul and feeling good feeling happy go lucky feeling go lucky so let's get three cards for Scorpio what does Scorpio need to know Okay, we have the Hermit card, we have the Knight of Swords, and we have the Queen of Swords. All right, bottom of the deck here, we have the Three of Wands. Very nice, Scorpio. So you could be dealing with the Fire energy, Aries Leo Sag. This is the energy of uh, options, choices, um, exploring your opportunities. Like I said, I feel like you're moving in a new direction. So you may be exploring your op options, thinking about the future. I feel like for some of you, I'm getting with this card, some of you may be really thinking about a home move, okay, moving someplace at a distance. And I normally don't get that with this card, uh, but that's the energy that I am getting here. Now this can be going with the flow as well. You have the Hermit card, which is Virgo energy. I feel like, uh, Scorpio, you have been doing a lot of thinking, uh, trying to um, use your inner wisdom, your intelligence, um, also your intuition here, okay? So I definitely feel like you're exploring options in some sort of way. You have the Knight of Swords. So I sense there's some sort of communication coming in for you, but this also can be a feeling of um, being impulsive, okay? So you may be feeling impulsive at this time. There may be something you're really looking forward to doing here, I sense with this uh, full card. Um, but I also sense here with this Queen of Swords. So you may be feeling impulsive, but at the same time, I feel like you're trying to be very uh, logical and making informed and uh, using a lot of discernment in your decision. So you may have more than one option here and you're really trying to figure that out. This also can be communication coming in, could be an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. Let's pull some more cards. Ooh, and I'm going to um, just turn the camera a little bit. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What other messages do you have for Scorpio? Let's get three cards. Okay, Knight of Cups. All right. High Priestess and Seven of Cups. Um, yeah, Seven of Cups. So yeah, I feel like you really have some options and some choices here. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Strength card. 
and uh, could be dealing with a Leo. So I feel like you have some options, choices here, trying to make some sort of decision. Um, this can be the energy of you, you know, gaining the courage, or maybe you're just holding back at this time. Okay, really thinking about things. You have the Ten of Cups here, so definitely this is about your happiness. It can be about a relationship, um, but also this is uh, King of Pentacles can be about your stability, your security, okay, providing for your family, uh, some sort of offer coming in for you as well. Now you have the Knight of Cups with the Hermit card. So I sense here that there may be some sort of proposal, some sort of offer that's coming in that you're really thinking about that's really going to give you this new start, this new beginning. For some of you, it can be a love offer. For others, I feel like this could also be a job offer or some way uh, you can uh, increase your financial income. Okay, also with that King of Pentacles I saw could be uh, some money coming in as well. You have the High Priestess and you have the Knight of Swords. Okay, so I sense with this High Priestess you have Cancer and uh, Pisces energy. But again, this is showing me using your intuition, your wisdom. I feel you're trying to make uh, discern decisions without without being very without being impulsive. Okay. I feel a bit of anxiety, Scorpio. So I don't know if some of you may be feeling a bit a little anxious because I'm feeling that energy right now. You have the Queen of Swords and you have the Seven of Cups. So again choices options you may be feeling a little bit confused okay holding back on making um, any sort of decision at this time so let's clarify uh, the cards see what else comes out thank you angels and spirit for your guidance why is the hermit card here and the knight of cups why is the hermit card here and the knight of cups let's get two cards please all right we have the three of cups yeah, I feel like you just have choices, Scorpio. You have the Four of Cups, interesting. And let's get one more. Okay, and the Ace of Wands and the Empress. All right. So very abundant energy, uh, Scorpio. I feel like you're definitely attracting and manifesting um, options in your life. It's showing me here with the Three of Cups and the Four of Cups. I feel like there is, uh, I feel like you have more than one offer coming in for you, some and also some new opportunity. Now, whether this is love or this has to do with career, okay, they're saying here, and um, you, you have more than one option, and they're really telling you to really investigate uh, the option. There's one here that's very significant, this one cup up here. Okay, but for whatever reason, you may be feeling reluctant to accept it. But they're saying don't just disregard it to really investigate it because it could be the one. Okay, it could be the one uh, that you were meant to have. But it's definitely showing me here with the Ace of Wands, a new beginning. Okay, um, and there's something very happy and celebratory about it with this Three of Cups. Ace of Wands too, this could even be... Um, some type of money windfall or inheritance um, and I sense here whatever this is for you whatever's coming in that you're really thinking about it and you're really trying to use your inner guidance um, I feel it's giving you that new start here okay this full energy a new beginning and as I said uh, definitely with the Empress here and look below it is your energy Scorpio energy here with the death card. I feel like you're going through a big transformation in your life now and you're being um, you're being propelled or guided, I feel, towards your abundance here with the Empress card. So let's clarify, why is the uh, Knight of Swords and the High Priestess here, please? Why is the Knight of Swords and the High Priestess here, please? Okay, so you have the full card again. The King of Swords, okay, 
and the six of cups beautiful and the tower yeah I sense here there's some sort of, there's divine intervention I feel like you're going to receive some unexpected communication but I feel here it's a good thing because again you have the full card Okay, starting off on a new journey, a new beginning, um, taking that leap of faith, taking that risk, all right, into the new, uh, starting over. So you may be having to start over in a situation, maybe it's love, maybe it's a uh, career. Uh, you have the King of Swords, okay, this is also about gaining clarity, gaining clarity about your situation as I talked about investigating the offer not just dismissing it um, but knowing that this is a new opportunity aces are like gifts that you receive from the universe like i said here with the ace of wands so i feel like there's some new opportunity you can see here this this person um, is holding a hawk okay and the hawk represents uh, that you may be focused on one detail okay about your situation or the details of the situation but this is about seeing things from a higher perspective okay seeing on uh, the big picture and inve really investigating uh, whatever this new opportunity is for you because I feel with the six of cups it's saying here that there is peace joy and happiness with this new beginning even though you may be reluctant to receive whatever this offer is okay now uh, with the tower you have the page of cups here so for some of you this very well could be a, a new love because you have the page of cups and you have the knight of cups all right uh, for others this also could have to do um, could involve a child okay your decision making could involve a, a child I feel like for some of you could even find a fit uh, if you're a female, I feel like for some of you could find out that you're pregnant because we have the uh, Empress energy as well. But let's clarify, why is the Queen of Swords and the Seven of Cups here, please? Okay, so you have the Nine of Wands. You have, look at there's that Empress again, and let's get one more. Look at that, the Ace of Pentacles, and then you have the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so nine of wands, the empress, and the ace of pentacles. Yeah, this is something I feel with this nine of wands. You've gone through a lot of challenges in the past. Um, there may be something here that you started in the past um, that you put, you know, some hard work into. Okay, a seed you planted. Uh, I feel here for some of you even could be an investment okay or this could be um, a new um, a side business that you started and now it's starting to grow um, but whatever this is for you um, it was very challenging it took some time you may be still waiting for it okay I see here you have options but look at this you have the Empress and you have the ace of Pentacles so again, very abundant energy, something um, I feel here is definitely growing um, for the long term here, for long term financial stability here. Very beautiful energy. Okay, can even be, um, you know, maybe you've been waiting for quite some time for a new love to come in. That can be for some of you as well. All right, um, but for some of you, I feel like this could be very well be, could even be a, a home move, okay? Some of you may have been looking for a, a home um, in, you, maybe you are selling a home and you're getting multiple offers because I see multiple choices here. Uh, so this one big offer comes in, the one that you were looking for, I see that as well. You have the two of pentacles, so some of you may have been having to juggle finances as well or just trying to gain the courage I feel in your situation to take that leap of faith. All right, so it does look very beautiful. What you've been waiting for, what you've been working towards, okay, this new start, new opportunity, it's, it's gonna grow long-term. That's what they're saying here. So beautiful energy. I'm just gonna pull a couple um, of these Wisdom of the Oracle cards to close out the reading. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Scorpio?
Oops. Okay. So bottom of the deck here, you have number 38, which is 11, to be fair. Okay, so I sense here, you know, this is like that justice card. Um, if you feel like you haven't been treated fairly in the past or um, in the past, you know, things weren't going your way, I feel here this is saying this is your time. This is your time where things are going to turn around and I see very, very abundant energy for you. You also have the here and now, which is number 32, which is five. You have past future, uh, past energy and future energy, but this is about you living in the here and now, living in the present, okay? Not dwelling on the past and not uh, thinking too much on fixed outcomes in the future, okay? You can always plan, but this is about living in the moment because that's when you're really going to manifest, all right? Now you have here also number six, which is not for you, okay? So you may be feeling like uh, the energy is not moving or you may be feeling, um, you know, like I said, you have options. So there may be something here, you're going back and forth and you're not sure if this is the right option for you. And that's, you know, in your whole reading, I see here you really listening to your intuition. But I feel there is one offer here, okay, that is coming in for you that is gonna bring you that long-term stability. And I feel like you're trying to take um, that leap of faith, gain the courage, okay, to move forward into this new opportunity that is, is for you. So very nice energy for you, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Again, details below are for the giveaway and also my new channel. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.